Hi guys and welcome back. So this week I wanted to make an amigurumi elephant. The pattern is really simple and requires minimal sewing and it's quite easy to follow. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. So let's get started. So here are all the supplies that you're going to need to make this project. So I'm going to be using Lion Brand's Pound of Love. It's in this beautiful Oxford grey color. This I'm going to be using for the main portion of most of my elephant. Here are the details of the yarn. So if you see, it calls for a J hook or a 6mm crochet hook. But I tend to crochet pretty loose. So that's why I'm going to go in with a much smaller hook, which is a 3.5mm crochet hook. You're also going to need a yarn needle, a stitch marker, a pair of safety eyes, some stuffing, a pair of scissors and then also some scraps of white yarn which we're going to be using for just the tusks. So you don't need too much of this, a little goes a long way. In addition, if you want to make the crown accessory, then you're going to need some yarn of any color of your choice. I'm going to be using some mustard colored yarn. Now in order to get started, we're going to be using the gray yarn and we're going to be starting with the trunk of the elephant. So you're going to start with the magic ring. Hold the yarn across two fingers and create an X at the back of your fingers. Insert your crochet hook into the bottom. Pick up the top and twist and then just pull up a loop. You have a magic ring ready. Into this magic ring you're going to place six single crochets. Insert your hook into the ring. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. That's one, two, three. 4, 5 and 6. Now on the 6th stitch you're going to go ahead and place your stitch marker like that. Insert your crochet hook back again and then just tuck the tail end of the magic ring to close it up. Now for rows 2 to 4 you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 6 stitches for each of these rows. So complete until row number 4 and then meet me back here again. Now for the next row you are going to place an increase all the way around or 2 single crochets in each stitch. So into the first one we are going to place 1 and 2. Into the second one again 1 and 2. Into the third 1 and 2 and you are going to do this 6 times all the way around until you have 12 stitches for this row. Now for rows 6 to 8 you are just going to place 1 single crochet all the way around for 12 stitches for each of the rows. Now for the next row you are going to place 1 single crochet in that first stitch. Into the one after that we are going to place 1 and 2. Again into the next one, one. Into the one after that, one and two. And you're going to do this six times all the way around. So one, one, two, one, one, two. Until you have 18 stitches for this row. Now for the next three rows, you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches for each of the rows. Now for the next row you are going to place 2 single crochets followed by an increase. So 1 in the first stitch, 1 in the second stitch, into the third stitch 1 and 2. And you are going to do this 6 times all the way around. So 1, 1, 1, 2 until you have 24 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are just going to place 1 single crochet all the way around for 24 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are going to place 3 single crochets followed by an increase. So that's 1, 2, 3 in the first 3 stitches into the 4th 1 and 2. 6 times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are just going to place 1 single crochet all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, we are going to place 4 single crochets followed by an increase 6 times all the way around until we have 36 stitches for this row. 
Now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 36 stitches for this row and after this you can just snip your yarn off and close up the trunk. Now once you're done with the trunk this is what it should look like. Now you can put this aside and we can start working on the next piece. So now let's start working on the legs. You're going to be making four of these. So you're going to start with the magic ring again and into the magic ring you're going to go ahead and place six single crochets. Now you're going to tug on the tail end of the magic ring to close it up and for row number two you're going to place an increase all the way around or two single crochets in every stitch for a total of 12 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you're going to place one single crochet followed by an increase six times all the way around until you have 18 stitches for this row. Now for the next row we're going to place one single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches but if you see each stitch has a V right here we're only going to go into that back loop. So we're going to split the stitch pick up the back loop place a single crochet Again you have the V here, split the stitch, pick up only the loop which is away from you and place a single crochet and you're going to go ahead and place one back loop single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches for this row. Now for the next three rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around. You're going to go into the front and back both, just a regular single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches for each of the rows. And once you are done with this you can snip your yarn off. You are going to snip your yarn off for the first 3 legs but when you follow the same pattern for the 4th leg don't snip your yarn off at the end. Just keep it attached once you finish your 3 rows of 1 single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches for each of the rows. So go ahead and make your legs and then I will show you how to proceed. So now I've completed all four legs and if you see I haven't cut the yarn off the fourth leg it's still attached to the skein of yarn. So now we're going to attach these together so pick any of the other legs place it in front of the leg that you're working on right now and do a slip stitch pull it through. So now you're just going to go ahead and place one single crochet all the way around for 14 single crochets. Once you're done with these 14 single crochets we're going to attach the next leg. So meet me once you're done with the 14 stitches. Now that I'm done with the 14 stitches I'm going to pick up the next leg. Again do the same thing. Place it in front and just pull the yarn through and then go ahead and on this leg place one single crochet all the way around until I have 14 for this row as well. Now once I'm done with this I'm going to take the last leg attach that to this one again place it in front and just pull the yarn through and then go ahead and place one single crochet around for 14 for this one as well. So now you've attached the four legs but the first leg is not connected to the fourth. So now we have to connect this. For that we're going to start from this end and count back 14 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this being the 14th stitch that's where we're going to join it. Now you have a lot of ends so just make sure that you're using only the working end of your yarn. So I'm going to attach this right here and then go ahead and place 14 single crochets around. So now once you're done with that if you see all four of your legs are connected but we have this big gaping space in the middle. Now we're going to work in closing up this space. So now we have this gap in the middle and we want to close up this gap. So to do that what we're going to do is we're just going to snip our yarn off. I'm not closing this. If you see I've still kept the stitch as it is because we're going to connect and continue later. Let's first close up this gap. Now you can attach your yarn to any of the legs to any of the stitches. I'm going to go in to this one right here. I'm going to 
attach my yarn onto this chain one and now I'm just going to place one single crochet all the way around so each of these legs should have four stitches because we stopped at 18 and we've made 14 single crochets around so you should have four stitches in each of the legs so just go ahead and make one single crochet around what may help is you have these really long tails from each of the other legs you can just cut these off so that it doesn't come in your way otherwise these can be a little distracting so I'm just snipping these off and then we'll just tuck these in later on so I'm just going to continue only on the inner side so if you see I made three this is my fourth one on this leg now I'm going to go on to the next leg attach and then go on placing one single so that's two three and four on to the next one again you have one two three and four and then on to the last one again you have four now what we're going to do until we close up this side is we're just going to decrease all the way around so to do a decrease you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop insert your hook into the stitch after that pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three so you don't need to do an invisible decrease for this for the rest of the project we'll follow an invisible decrease here you can just do a regular decrease again insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop into the next one pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three let me show you that one more time so that's what a decrease looks like now you're going to keep placing decreases until you've closed up the inside of this leg so let me complete all my decreases and I'll show you what it looks like so now if you see I've continuously kept doing decreases and I've closed up the middle now I'm going to snip my yarn off I'm just going to pull it through and if you see there's still a small gap which is there in the middle you can just grab your yarn needle and tuck this end in so now once you're done closing up the middle space this is what it should look like now we're going to reattach our yarn to the working side so there are two ways that you can do this either you can knot this up or you can just take your piece of yarn place it in front of our working piece that we had previously and then attach it that way once you're done attaching it take the two ends that's the end that we have right now the end that we had before and just tie these together so now if you remember when we attached the legs we did 14 single crochets on each of the sides so that means in total we have 56 stitches around so for the next two rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 56 stitches for each of these rows so you're going to go all the way around just the outside of the legs now for the next row you're going to do 13 single crochets followed by an increase four times all the way around for 60 stitches for this row so go ahead do your 13 single crochets and into that 14 stitch you're going to place two single crochets or an increase now for the next row you're going to place nine single crochets followed by an increase six times all the way around until you have 66 stitches for this row now if you can see we're slowly building up the body so for the next three rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 66 stitches for each of the rows now for the next row you're going to place nine single crochets followed by a decrease six times all the way around for 60 stitches for this row so i've done my nine single crochets now we're going to do an invisible decrease if you see each stitch has a v we're going to pick up the portion of the stitch which is facing towards us so i've picked this up into the next stitch again split it 
pick up the stitch facing towards you yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two let me show you that one more time so place your nine single crochets now again to do an invisible decrease look at the first V pick up the portion of the stitch which is facing towards you the next V pick up the portion of the stitch facing towards you you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so go ahead and do this six times for 60 stitches for this row now for the next five rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 60 stitches for each of the rows so now once you're done with the repeat rows you should have a body that looks like this now we're going to go ahead and add the trunk so for that the first thing that you're going to do is do 30 single crochets now we're going to go ahead and attach the trunk so i'm just going to place the trunk in front of my working yarn and just pull it through tighten it and now I'm going to place 12 single crochets going into the front and the back attaching the trunk to the body so I'm going into the front into the back and just attaching this in place so I'm going to do that for 12 stitches Now once you've attached your trunk with the 12 stitches, we're just going to go all the way until our stitch marker and just place one single crochet around for this row. So now going forward, we're going to be working in a round this way. So we're going to be starting from here, going all the way around the head and back to the back of the body. So let me give you a quick stitch count. If you remember the trunk we'd ended it on 36 stitches we've taken away 12 stitches because we've attached it to the body right here so there are 24 stitches left here again with the body we had 60 stitches all the way around we took away 12 stitches because we attached it over here so we left with 48 stitches on this side so that's 48 plus 24 which is a total of 72 stitches so now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 72 stitches so what i'll do is once i get to this point i'll show you just for this row how to cross over and come to the other side so do your single crochets till you reach the starting of the head and then meet me back here again so now I've done my single crochets from my stitch marker which was right here until the starting of the head. Now when I continue, I'm actually not going to go into the bottom. We're going to go all around the top of the trunk to start forming the head this way. So we're going to go around here and once we come to this bridge, we're going to continue till the stitch marker. So we're going to be working this way. You're going to ignore this portion and just go around the top and this is our working area. Now for the next row, you're going to place 10 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 66 stitches for this row. So let me show you how to do an invisible decrease one more time. So I'm done with my 10 single crochets. To do a decrease, I'm going to split the next stitch, pick up only the loop facing towards me. Again, the next one, pick up only the loop facing towards me. I have three on the hook. Yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So go ahead and do that six times. And as I mentioned, now you're going to go working this way. You're going to ignore this portion just go on as though you're working in a circle and just keep going around the head now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 66 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place nine single crochets followed by a decrease six times all the way around until you have 60 stitches for this row now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around until you have 60 stitches for this row. 
Now for the next row you're going to place 8 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 54 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you're just going to place 1 single crochet all the way around until you have 54 stitches for this row. Now for the next row we're going to place 7 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until we have 48 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you're going to place 6 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 42 stitches for this row. So now before we continue with the rest of the pattern let's go ahead and add the safety eyes. So we're just going to go on to either side of the trunk make sure it's in the same line and just place the eyes like this. Once you're happy with the placements what I've done is I've left about three stitches on either side and then just place the eyes far apart on the trunk so you can see where it is right now. Once you're happy with the placement you can go ahead and add the backing. Now make sure you add some stuffing to the body as well as to the head and now with every row going forward you will be adding a little stuffing. Now for the next row you will be placing 5 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around till you have 36 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you will be placing 4 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are going to place 3 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 24 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are going to place 2 single crochets followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around for 18 stitches for this row and don't forget to continuously keep adding your stuffing. Now for the next row you are going to place 1 single crochet followed by a decrease 6 times all the way around until you have 12 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you are just going to decrease all the way around. And then you're just going to fasten off to close up the body of your elephant. Now once you're done this is what it should look like. So now we can go ahead add some ears, tusk and a tail. So now let's start working on the ears. So I'm going to continue with the grey yarn. You're going to start with the slip knot. Insert your hook, tighten and chain 2. 1 and 2. Now you're going to skip this first stitch, go into that second stitch and place 4 single crochets. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now you're going to chain 1, turn your work around and into each one of those stitches you're going to place an increase. So into that first stitch 1, 2, into the next one, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 8. Now you're going to chain 1, turn into the first stitch 1, into the next one, 1 and 2. Again you're going to place 1 and 1 and 2. And when you reach the end you should have 12 stitches for this row. Now for the next row again chain 1, turn. Into the first 2 you are going to place 1 each. Into the third you are going to place 1 and 2. Again 1, 1. Into the third 1 and 2. And you are going to do this till the end till you have 16 for this row. Now again chain 1, turn your work around, you are going to place 1 into the first 3, so 1, 2, 3 and into the fourth one you are going to place 2 and you are going to do this till the end until you have 20 stitches for this row. Now for the next row chain 1 turn, you are going to place 1 into the first 4. And into the 5th stitch you are going to place an increase and you are going to do this till the end, repeat this till the end 
until you have 24 stitches for this row now for the last row chain one turn and into each of the stitches you're going to place a slip stitch just to even the edges out so insert your hook and then just pull the yarn through and do this for all 24 stitches now once you're done just snip your yarn off after leaving a long tail that we're going to use to sew on the ear and then go ahead and make a second one identical to it so now we're going to go ahead and attach the ears to the head so we're going to go on either side of the face and attach the ears but when we do that we're just going to curl the ears slightly and attach it this way so I'm just going to place it on the side of the head right here once I'm happy with the placement I'm just going to curl these up and then sew them in place and then go ahead and do the second ear as well so to stitch these you're just going to use a simple stitch and go into the front and back and attach this together now once you're done attaching the ears this is what it should look like now we can start working on the tusks so to work on the tusks you're going to make a magic ring into the magic ring you're going to place five single crochets now you're going to tuck the tail end to close it up and for the next two rows you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for five stitches per row once you're done with that just snip your yarn off and leave a long tail for sewing on so now you can attach the tusks on either side so just go on either side of the top of the trunk and then just attach these in place now we're going to make a little crown for our elephant so now we're going to do a little accessory for our elephant we're going to make a little crown so I've taken some mustard colored yarn you're going to start with the slip knot and chain 22 now you're going to skip this first stitch and into the second stitch you're going to place a single crochet and then place one single crochet around until the end for a total of 21 stitches for this row now for the next two rows you're just going to chain one turn and then place one single crochet around until the end for 21 stitches for each of the rows now you're going to chain three one two three turn your work around skip that first stitch into the second stitch place a slip stitch into the third stitch place a single crochet slip stitch into the next three on the bottom of the crown so that's one two and three once again chain three one two three skip the first stitch slip stitch into the second into the third you're going to place a single crochet slip stitch into the bottom one into the next one two into the next one three and you're going to repeat this until you reach the end so just to show you again we're going to start with a chain of three one two three skip the first stitch go into the second place a slip stitch into that bottom most stitch place a single crochet go into the bottom and slip stitch into the next three stitches one two and into the last one three so if you see you can see the little points of the crown getting formed go ahead and do that until the end so now once you're done this is what it should look like if you see you should have seven points in total now you can just fold this in half and then just go ahead and slip stitch into the front and back so to do that you're just going to pull this side through go on to the top of the opposite side pick up the loop which we were working on tighten it and just pull it through so we've done a slip stitch and then you're going to chain one turn your work and then do a slip stitch 
into the front and back to attach your crown together once you're done with this you can snip your yarn off and now it's optional if you want to stitch this on you can do that or if you just want it to be a separate accessory that's fine as well so i'm just going to snip my yarn off pull it through and i have a little crown ready which i can place on the head of my little elephant so you can also add on a little tail so i've just made a chain of five and then i just split the stitch at the end to give it the feel of a tail and then i just sewed it on so here's my little elephant complete with the crown you can choose to make other accessories if you want as well it's a really simple project to follow and it works out pretty quickly too Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Until next time. Bye-bye.